Hey guys, welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Um, today we're making the counterpart to my Sims 3 house that I built a while ago. I'm not really sure. Um, I can't remember, but it was basically a mountain home that was dark. Dark wood, and I named it dark wood. I'm really smart naming. Naming genius of the year, smart brains for the win. Uh, but I wanted to make a count. I just went. Um, uh, I want to make a counterpart to that. So this is the counterpart. Its name is light wood because uh, it's light wood. It's made. Um, I'm going to let you in a secret. It's really light. And there's like wood. Oh my god, I know. You're shocked. I can see like bit of the picture is you guys just being like, oh my god, I'm a genius. I I'm as smart as honey boo boo. <laughs> uh, I thought that was a word that never come out my mouth. <laughs> Ugh, now I feel dirty. Anyway, it's the opposite of that house. So that house was a small, dark one, not a lot of light, hence the name. This one is the exact opposite, it is a light house with really big windows and features like that. I'm really proud of how it turned out, I haven't done anything like this in The Sims this big. I've done smaller things and I hate building big houses because it takes me about like an hour just to build the outside and get the floor pat plan. Well, not even sometimes get the f half the time I don't even get a floor pat plan within that. And then the other, and then it takes like a year to furnish. I'm being serious. I these are the bane of my existence. These room builds, no house builds. They just suck. Drain the life out of me. I'm like sitting there, like, oh, oh. and the thing is, with that, then the furnishing doesn't turn out as nice as I liked. Eh? By the end, I end up brushing it, and it looks looms are barren. And then whenever I go back, I'm like, oh, I could have done so much better. And I cry inside, not out loud. But I'm proud of this house because there wasn't a lot of indoor space actually. It was actually really small inside. I'm really um, constrained inside. You aren't as roomy or as free. But it's the outside area that's really large and um, sort of big. It's a big pool area, a barbecue area, hot. I don't think I put in a hot tub. I'm just skimming the screenshots. Scheming, that's a fun word. Hmm. The stuffed animal tree does not like your skips. I if you do not get that reference, watch Gravity Falls, just watch it off it is so good. Hmm. Do 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 I'm a stuffed animal tea. I can't do it. We the stuffed animal tea. <laughs> Uh, this is why there's professional vo voice actors. Plus, my voice is like slavery. 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 <laughs> oh, I just realised what I've done. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, uh. Anyway, so we place. Some glass, cause if I'm building that, of course it's gonna be glass windows are the insane. Actually, I don't think my next build will have glass windows. I know, shocker, but I'll be well. well everyone will technically glass, but I won't have these uh, mainly because I'll be in Windenburg. Yes, mates, Windenburg. Turkey fifteen, Windenburg four five one. And I can't wait, and it comes out on the knife in Britain, I think. Not sure. Same thing. Um, I think it's like 
it comes into retailers in the 10th, but if you ever download it's the 9th. It's confusing games. A game, if you live in Britain, you know how cool that is. Now, game is basically the game shop in Britain, so... Well, it's quite self-explanatory. When you drop something that you're playing with and it's like, ugh. Um, game is... So, game is, of course, saying something like, Ooh, it comes out on the 28th. It comes out on the, not the 28th, that'd be like the dumbest market movie ever. Buy our game, it comes out directly after. It wouldn't be that bad a move, because when you think about it, a lot of people have Christmas money who'd want that. That's not part of the marketing scheme now that I think about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that I looked pretty normal for a minute. But anyway, I thought it came out on the 8th. So all the... Because, well, everything was saying the 8th, 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 
I wouldn't be used for outside I'd be used for detail and inside. I place a cherry chair here for some reason. I don't think I've ever used one of the those those maggots. Plus a uh, you, you can create some really that was a fart bag, that was not me. Ignore it. Woo Woo Ghost Ghost Fart. Anyway, so we start working in the living room and I go for this thing that I haven't used in a while. The sideboards, like, I just did use them in a lot of my old houses. Uh, not even ones that I put on this channel, ones that I made in my free time. Like, you can remember this massive square on war and it had a hedge maze on for a roof. It looked terrible, it was, I cleaned it as modern and then says war modern, I can say that, but I can't remember the architect, like what I even looked like. I can remember a bit of the living room. I think it had black flooring. I had basically this, but colours swapped around and not as nice. I, I didn't know how to use clutter. I thought, like, I never used that clutter stuff. And then I was like, hey, let's use these weird statuettes things just to make the house look more complicated. And I did. The end. So I have mods on me now, but I delete them all, delete some other mods, and have to replace all my houses, and then re-upload them for the mod thing to work. Because who doesn't love how messed up the gallery is? This contains modded content, but there's no modded content in it. This contains modded content. No, I, this contains modded content. I know there's this contains modded content. Shut up! So anyway, we place some useless clutter on that fireplace, some books, a photograph, you know, stuff for your sims to mildly pass. I'm not sure who you make live in this house, like, maybe a nice family who can fit, who's, a, who's son, well not just sons, who's Children, don't mind sharing rooms, because that's what I've done. I've got a shared room and a deck room. And I'm glad I'm uploading this now, because then I'd have to redo the deck room. Rick room. Because I'd have to redo it, and then after I redo it, redo, a redo. After I redo it, I'd like, I'd want to include a DJ booth or something from a uh, get together or foosball table yeah that's what i put in if i could a foosball table i'm looking forward to those because i'll finally give those rooms a purpose beyond be beyond pointlessness <clears throat> so we create a sort of stocked out fridge area over there and place a bunch of shelves and shove it with a bunch of useless crap that your sims will never lose but hey it's there for decoration Ooh. Ooh, decoration fancy i place a potted plant an easel and i think a mug or a bottle of beer or something i don't really care as long as your sims can prepare food and it looks stylish. And it looks styling. And we place a few wine bottles because what self, what Sam doesn't love a wee cheeky glass of wine. Along with the Sam's cheeky nandos. What Sam doesn't love a cheeky nandos meat. I actually love me a wee cheeky nandos. Oh, I love nandos though. If you're, if you're British and you haven't had nandos, you should just Stop saying that you're British, go to the nearest Nando's and shove it in your mouth. And just like, oh, no, no. Yeah, because it is one of the best things. I'm not exaggerating, it is like literally the best place for chicken. But I have got so much hate for saying I like Wagamama better. I'm sorry. Like, Wagamama's amazing though. If 
that is just so good. You get like teriyaki chicken and rice and like noodles and everything. And oh my god, those that goizas are so good. I'm, I'm, but I'm craving them now. They're like oh, so good. I can just picture them like oh, the goizas, senpai, senpai. Oh, they're so good. It's so good though. I like. I I want to shove them in my mouth and then they like dip them in soy sauce and they eat them and and cry about their self state. Like just and then they have like fifteen wonder what's happened to you and they're like, what have I done? Dun dun dun. I just realised at some point. And at some points my voice will be very loud. Ah. Uh, uh. Anyway, so this is the first draft of this bedroom. And I get completely scrapped. So we just I just want to show you that so we can imagine what it looks like. There's a spiral bed cover, a little thing, a mirror. Just imagine picture it what it would look like in the screenshots, even though it isn't in the screenshots. Oh, ghostly, spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down my spine. <sighs> spooky. Spooky like a pokey. A pokey. I want a pokey. Oh my god, I want pokies. Like, I got sweets from Japan a few. Like last week, and I ate all the pockies, and now I want more pockies. And pockies are so good, oh my god. So, is there ever sweets from my kind of so good? Like, and all the people on the internet are like, ew, this is gross, it's a green cat cat, but those green cat cats are my life, are just like my dream, and I'm like, uh, uh, oh my god. No, I need this. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it or I'll just... But they're so good. They're... They taste like white chocolate, but better. Imagine white chocolate, but with a hint of tea. Because I don't even like green tea. I don't know why I'm praising these so much. Oh my god, green tea, who doesn't love them? Like, but green tea is amazing. I, I don't even like green tea, I just like green tea Kit Kats and green tea flavours are from Japan because usually their green tea flavour, matcha as it's called or something, is usually like infused with milk, with white chocolate and <laughs> Like, I barely get white chocolate. I don't like it as much, but it sort of dulls the pure white chocolate. Which is one thing I hate. And it can't be classified as white chocolate, it's classified as green chocolate. The more you know. Wait, why is it called? Wouldn't it be white and black chocolate and not white and dark chocolate? I just realised that. Why isn't white chocolate called white chocolate? Or dark chocolate called black chocolate, like, think about it, lose your noggin, but, I don't know why, that's really weird, like, plus, I prefer dark chocolate over white chocolate, um, it's so good, oh wait, dark chocolate over light chocolate, <laughs> see, it sounds weird now, it's one of those things where, like, it makes no sense, like, why do you keep, here's the one, a thing that makes no sense, why do I keep using those paint ends? I use like that one with the tree branches 50 times, uh, at the mo, at the least, at the least guys. So, in the newest update, if you haven't seen it, I don't use it in this build, but I'm planning to use it in one. I can make a jelly pool, I can make a jelly pool, like, it's just jelly, uh, but, not um yeah there's a pool 
and you can change the pool water and I think it's for get together as well well because in get together if you haven't seen the natural pools they look quite cool um, not as thrilled but I think the, the only time I'd want to use them is if I was making a spa and I wanted to create a sort of natural pool spa like it was one of those places where it's a natural spa pool and then you like, go in the sauna or something but I don't know if I just want to use it as like a normal over a normal chlorinated swimming pool in any of my houses like sure in Windenburg like I'd use it because I think that's something that people would have like they would have in Windenburg just for some reason in the nicer places they'd have like pumping years of wars of natural like under the house would be this big long connected pipe that just strings to like the ocean and it sucks the well, lake and it sucks it up into their private pool for some reason that's really rich and elegant and it's more elegant than having like clean chlorinated water plus it'd be quite cool to do like a sort of abandoned pool, house build with that and like use that and then since you can place plants on it it'd be cool to just like place all the plants and make it look just eerie as have like use those cobwebs from spooky stuff use cobwebs from spooky stuff and that and like those fading paint ends and just be like oh it's a ghost um, Oh, I have multiple death traps as well, like, build, I'm not sure, just rooms full of, like, malfunctioning products, or, like, rooms where, uh, it's literally just a closed off, a swimming pool that constantly closes and shuts, and, like, make the swimming pool blood red, or, and have the outdoor ones natural colours, or, like, have the swim pool and mould it and when your son's getting it the, the um, gate around it just shuts and you can't get out so it's like a death trap oh my god this is getting me really excited i really want to do that even though i can't build like gothic victorian i want to build a gothic victorian mansion using it and make it like a death trap one where your sims step in and it's ghosts. Also, like, send a bunch of sims in at first, kill, kill half of them, and so it's haunted. Uh, have like those eerie pain ends. Don't we have something like that? The chalet, chateau, and get together. It's based on Versailles. Versailles, the palace in France. Yeah, and so anyway, I had this really cool idea up next to his bathroom to put in a hidden sauna for your sims so your sims basically just walk like it's, an, it's one of those bookcase doors so they poof on a certain book and it's swings open throwing them into the secret sauna they aren't supposed to be there they're supposed to stay uh, it's a secret to everyone and if you tell anyone about the secret you'll end up like being like disowned from the family anyway like i was talking about the mansion and i'm really excited to do it now um i just have pictures like in the sims 4 graphical style of this dark room of like swaying chandeliers that are really dim and like this pool surrounded by a tiny fence and when the sims get in it it turns blood red and locks them in it oh like i want I don't know how to make machinima, but if someone does, I really want to see that as like a Sims horror movie where they get out this abandoned gothic mansion to stay in for the night and it's haunted. And they like, a cool one would, would be like a door case, like a bookcase, and they lean on it and they fall in and it's a sauna and they can't get out. So they're like, <laughs> and die in the sauna. Oh my god. I, <laughs> this is like this is so dark but I love it. Um I think that is could be like the coolest thing 
ever anything. I want to build it. I want to make it a reality. A reality. <laughs> but I probably wouldn't be able to. Like, I've tried my cinema before. I tried to make a uh, Beyonce's partition. If you've heard that song, I really like it. I tried to make a partition. A, a, um, what do you call it? I'm a cinema author and it failed terribly. Terribly, terribly, terribly. It felt horribly. I created the character. I had built the venues and by built I mean took off the exchange. Well, not exchange, but like mod the films. <laughs> and. <laughs> And I was ready to do it, and then I realised how hard it is. I needed to get her to become a celebrity, so a limousine would come pick her up. She needed to get in the limousine, do some stuff, sing, have some scenes where she'd be posing up against bars, dancing to it, dancing to the back of the car. With me, him with me. Hello. As you go. Hello. I'm an amazing singer. I'm nearly as good as Miranda sings. One day I'll be like her. She's senpai. 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 Oh, I've said senpai twice. Senpai. Three times. Four times. Cause I said it. Senpai. 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 That's eight times I have said the S word, and I will not repeat the S word again. Senpai. Nine times. Nine times I've said senpai. It's too good of a word to say. It's a way too fun a word. Right, so we start working on the recreational area. The area where the sims can go after a hard day of work and play the piano. I would have put a foosball table but yet together as an out yet. So this is when I try and limit my packs. This pack, this house actually is on the gallery right now, and it only requires get to work, perfect patio, cool kitchen. Those in spaddy. Those are the only four. I know I'm limiting myself, but I want you guys to enjoy these houses as well. And one day, not next week, we'll be doing a get together one. But one day I might do a base game one, and you guys will be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that'll take bravery and courage off me. Plus, like, the base game stuff, I like it, but, like, after, I felt it was kind of lacking. It was better than Sims 3, I'll say that, because in Sims 3, the only base game stuff we got, we didn't get any modern or classical furniture. We got, like, this sort of look that was not a bed that was like sort of flat style i'm going to say flat style because that's what i'm thinking but it's like basically grubby old couches nothing modern or that well at least it was the sims 4 and we got like a sort of set even though like we got a few sets which is still better than the sims 3 like i can't even the name bros in the base game but i can't it was nothing modern or that. It was all really like tacky. I guess you could say there was like a few modern things, like a bed, the TV, a TV, and that. But oh god, at least it was The Sims 4. We got some modern things with the base game. We got um, those. We got like sinks and that with the base game, plants and that with the base game that were modern. And a style like a modern style where a modern contemporary style where we didn't get that with the Sims 3 and it's quite at least I feel like the Sims 4 is going to be is better than the Sims 3 in so many ways and will will be after the expansions come out. I feel like once we get like pets and that'll be a bit more fleshed out. I feel like the Sims 3 it is a good game but then like I felt like, see, if The Sims 2, I feel like The Sims 2 had better concepts than The Sims 3. If The Sims 2 had the amount of Sims 3 work, well, graphics, not graphics and items and that, 
I think it Sims 2 would be my favourite because but I have a feeling that the Sims 4 is the perfect mix of that where Sims 3 the style got a bit boring where like with the Sims 4 um getting like I know Paradise and World Adventures were cool packs but they're quite stale um where get together and get to work were interesting in that and weren't following that basic Sims style of the Sims 3 and the Sims 3 style got a bit boring constantly asking for a uh, store content I hated that uh, yeah I hated store content anyway we're into screenshots now so here we have a lovely video of the front of the house and then the side as you can see the beautiful bath facing out then the shot of the outdoor area just I love that shot it looks like a mansion shot and then the grand entrance it looked really nice really shady really took off then we have the living room again I really like it it has a sort of natural feel to it a real natural tone to it where the dress like the kitchen doesn't but the living room has that natural wood tone so and then we have the kitchen I like the shop as well I love the little kitchen area and then how it like transitions into this all smaller glass dining table with this little sitting area in the corner with like chairs and a little stone th I don't see how that's a plant, that little stone thing. And then we have a teenage bedroom, a teenager's bedroom. I've made it a bit more mature in the kids' bedroom, a bit less mature. It has like books lying about, posters strung up. Um, the bathroom, a really awkward shot of the shower for some reason. The To the sauna with those candles burning, soothing music. And I like this shot of the bedroom because you can see the um, wardrobe. I use those spaddy doors for some reason. I think they look like screen doors from Japan. The bathroom and the lovely recreational area, which would have been perfect with a foosball table instead of a gaming mat. We need game consoles. Back in this game, like those ones aren't as good. Um, next, we have the little outdoor sitting area and the natural barrier for the barbecue. So, that isn't a wall, that's just the counter. So, I'll leave you guys here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next speed build. Remember, this is up for download. Bye!